after a shooting in the 300 block of Maple Street leaves six injured, including a three-year-old little girl. Councilman Kendall Stokes says the people who live in the area had nothing to do with the shooting, and he hopes the shooter is caught. The thing about this neighborhood, who you see over here, they're all family members. They're all cousins. They were not in what they call a beef, a fight with anybody. But someone else in some kind of altercation was over here visiting and the word got out and that's how someone came and did a drive-by. After multiple shootings in the capital city over a span of four days, Chief Joseph Wade of the Jackson Police Department says you will see a major change in the streets. You're going to see a very large combined effort with Capitol Police and the Jackson Police Department to address these issues. And that was even prior to what happened last night. We met earlier yesterday because we anticipated when you have these types of shootings where a lot of people are injured and shot, then you have that cycle of retaliation. Gun violence is no stranger to Jackson, but Chief Wade says gang violence is what's causing harm to innocent people. When you talk about this gang activity, you're talking about Memphis to Tunica, they're from Tunica down to Ken, Mississippi, then Ken to Jackson, then you're talking about Crystal Springs to Jackson, you're talking about Macomb to Jackson, and vice versa. It's a pipeline of individuals. They are involved in gang activity, but they're also involved in guns. They're involved in drug activity, so we have to deal with it holistically. Chief Wade wants the community to continue to help to find the bad actors across the city of Jackson. Reporting in Jackson, Jalen Anderson, 12 News.